Hello everyone, my name is Andre McClendon and today I'm going to talk about how to program a three simple moving average crossover robot or expert advisor. Now there's this video is for beginners guys. I'm going to talk about different rules how to enter and exit this trade. So let's talk about the entry requirements first. So when looking at a moving average guys, I have three. There's a pink one which is our fast, the blue one which is our medium, and the red which is our slow. Once they all cross over, this will be one of our entries for entering a trade. This will be a buy order trade right here. And our second entry will be right here. Showing that the pink line is above the red and the blue and they do cross. So we're looking for two different scenarios to enter a trade for our expert advisor. So before we start expert advisor, first thing we need to do is open up MetaQuotes. So go to the top left hand corner of our uh, terminal or click F4 and a window should pop up. The next thing we need to do is go to the file, go to new, go to expert advisor, hit next, and let's name our expert advisor. Let's call it the three moving average plus an ATR. And we'll be using the ATR to help with our trader to indicate if it's too high or too fast, okay? To make our, our robot a little bit more intelligent. Now, all you gotta do is hit next and open up our trader. So the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is scroll all the way down to the on tick. And open this up, let's make it a little bit bigger. And the first thing we're gonna do is add our indicators. So we're gonna add three moving averages and one ATR, okay? So let's add those three moving averages. First off, our first moving average, um, I'll break this down in step by step. First we're gonna do is add a double. Now a double is going to read as a non-hold number. So when you see like pound yen or dollar uh, or dollar Swiss franc or USD Swiss franc, you'll see that it's like one point something something or one number and then a whole bunch of numbers. That's what's gonna read a whole bunch of numbers after that. If you use an int, it's always gonna read whole numbers. So we're gonna use a double to get the full value. So we're gonna name this fast moving average. It's gonna be IMA. And if you want the details on that, just double select it and hit F1 and our our MQL4 reference will bring it up what it means. If you guys need more help, just check that out. Now, next thing we do is use the uh, word null. Null is basically default. And it's gonna give us our default currency pairs or currency strings so we can run on all currency pairs now, for your broker. Now, we're gonna run it on the time frame zero. So if you change it on like time, uh, time frame z uh, zero would be default. If you, if you wanna change it to the 15 minute or five minute or whatever time frame you have available, it'll be default. And we're gonna use it called fast moving period. So we're gonna make sure that all our periods are very uh, structured so we know we don't have to keep changing them. And if you wanna change it, we're gonna have that function available. Our next thing we're gonna do is gonna run it on MA shift zero, zero for our enum and also our applied price zero and our shift will be zero so it runs on a current candle we're gonna do the exact same thing two other times right here but make sure that you change that one is be back one one other one would be back three and we're gonna make sure that this instead of being a zero will be a one and a three we want the fast moving average to be uh, have uh, value for value candle current candle one back and candle two back okay or I'm sorry three back right here so once we do that we want to make our slow moving average or our very slow moving average and we want to do that in the very same way create our double IMA put slow moving average and make sure we have zero one and three okay once we have that all done make sure you have this times two because we want our very slow moving average double the uh, amount of candles this covers than our slow one, okay? So that's what we call it double slow. And before we do that, we need to make sure we put our values right here in our global settings so we can change it later on in the code or prior to the expert advisor running. Okay, so we're gonna have extern int fast moving average equals 10 and our slow moving average will be 50. But our very slow will be double that, so it'll be 100 once we get to that part, okay? See? times two, times two, that would be 100. Our last thing we do for our indicators would be adding the ATR, okay? 
So line 51, add the ATR. ATR will be double ATR, and we're going to use IATR, null, comma, on a basic default current, uh, default time frame. We're going to scan back 14, cal uh, 14 candlesticks, and we want the results for the current candle. So those are our indicators. Let's get to our first group of three rules prior to entering a trade, okay? Here's our first rule. Our first rule is basically once they cross, we need to establish how they cross. So a bull statement basically reads true or false. If this is true, it reads true. If it's false, it's going to read false. Our moving average bull rule, bull rule one. Okay? So our first rule. Our fast moving average, right, our faster one, has to be greater than our slow. And also our fast moving average has to be faster than our or higher, basically, the more value than our slow moving average, our very slow moving average. And our slow moving average is greater than our very slow. And our second part of this rule is that one back is also true. So fast moving average one back is greater than our slow moving average one back, and fast moving average one back is slower, is faster than our one uh, for our one for here. Okay? And so exact same thing, but we're just gonna scan it one back. So let's look at our second rule for entering a trade, okay? And then I'll show you guys on the charts uh, after I finish all three rules, okay? Our second rule, very uh, simple too. A bull, it'd be moving average rule by rule number three. It's going to be our fast moving average is greater than our slow, okay? And our fast moving average is greater than our very slow, but our very slow is going to be greater than our slow. So there's a difference there, okay? And that's why I was talking about the two different types of entering for this trade. Our, and our rule four would be the exact same thing as rule three, but just scanned one back, okay? Now we have group, we have rule three, I'm sorry, rule two finished. Let's get onto rule three. Now rule three is going to read like this. This is going to be scanning prior to the uh, our entry our, our cross point. So once those met, uh, those moving averages cross, we want to enter right after that cross point. Okay, so that's what moving average rule five will do, and that's going to be for moving average back three is going to be less than the slow, and the moving average of uh, moving average three back three is going to be greater less than the moving average slow, very slow. You see, so we know that it crossed, and what it's going to do for rule number six is that the fast moving average back three is going to be greater than the slow but less than the very slow okay so let's look at that on the charts and go back to that <coughs> and you can see that we have an example here and also example here for that okay now let's get back to meta quotes. So now we got to compile this information so we can make sure we enter in the right kind of trades, okay? And this is what we're going to enter in right here. Our complete buy rules. Now what this is going to do is see if rule 1 and 2 are true. If that is true, then it can complete and go down to this part here. Or it's going to check if rule three and four are true if groups one and two are true or groups three and four are true we can proceed down to asking if the ask is greater than the fast moving average and our last thing is the or statement for rules group for rules five and six so they kind of pair up together rule one and two going to use five rule three and four is going to use six and if those if those are true in that combination, we'll have our entries, okay? And let's go through and enter and how we uh, how we're gonna manage our trades, okay? Now this is a very simple way to putting that out there, and this is how we're gonna be using our ATR also, okay? So if complete rules by rules equals true, and 
total orders total equals zero checks to see if it equals zero and the ATR is less than 30 okay then we're gonna enter in by our first buy rule right here and it's gonna be our low ATR entry now let's explain I'm gonna explain a little bit more so or we're gonna be entering it and that's gonna be for buy order number one it's gonna be order send we're gonna use null like before uh, as I discussed and if you want more information guys once again you guys can pause the video go through and check your guys's uh, what's it called uh, metal coast reference and do that but for this order we're gonna use that OP buy our lots our lot size is gonna be 0 0.02 we're gonna enter off the ask our slippage will be one and our stop loss, remember, is for pound yen will be 100 pips, which would be an ask minus 100. And our target profit will be ask plus 400 pips. For our comment, we're going to use null. For our magic number, we'll use zero. And our date, uh, our expiration time, since this is a instant execution, we'll be using zero. And we're going to be using clear blue or color blue for our entry. And, and the next thing we're going to do is print. Our buy order will be open low ATR. So when this order enters, we're going to only have it as buy order open low ATR. If there's a high ATR, we're going to put the same information in, but our make sure our ATR value is equal to or greater than 0.3. If that is true, then it'll go through and enter and execute our order. But it's going to be a little bit different. Since we have a higher ATR, our stop loss will be larger and our target profit will be larger. Okay? And it would be buy order opened high ATR entry. Now you guys can uh, change those numbers up to whatever you like to make it either lower or faster. Just make it in there, but if, if you like. Our next thing will be adding a comment. And it's going to post in the top left hand corner of our terminal. It's basically going to read us our balance, our account balance, and also our equity. So we can see real time. So let's compile the code. There's no errors. And make sure, guys, when you guys are putting your stuff in, make sure there's no. Uh, uh, simple mistakes. It basically, oh, you can delete this. Now let's head back to our MetaTrader 4. We need to open up our strategy tester. So go to here and press Control R, or just click Strategy Tester, and we'll have it here. And now we got to go back to our trader, and it is called 3MA plus ATR. We're gonna run it on pound yen like I discussed before. But before we uh, enter our, our trade, we gotta make sure we're on a 30 minute. Our expert properties, we have a $2,000 balance. You guys can change that whichever you like. And also our dates, but make sure that we're on every tick model, okay? And we use these two check marks. And before we uh, start, we have our spread on current. So hit start, make sure we hit the pause button so we can freeze the screen prior to it running, okay? And now we're going to see how it trades, but once we do that, we need to see if, uh, how it looks. We're going to add our ATR, which is on 14, like I discussed before. It's going to have uh, on 14 different candles. And now we're going to add our three moving averages. So our red is going to be our 100. Our blue will be our 50. And our fast one will be our pink one at 10. Okay. This is magenta. Now let's change the background. Let's go to properties and we can make it look a little bit easier, better for our eyes. And we can zoom in a little bit more. And now let's run the code. Now this is not supposed to make money, but just show how to and demonstrate how to trade three moving averages combined with the ATR with a very simple, easy rule step that beginners and are, are basically anyone can learn how to program this stuff. And this is not a hard thing to trade, but this is also important to learn how to back test. So back testing is very important. You want to see if you're one, your program works and two, if it makes money or not. This one, I have no idea if it makes money or not. I just want to show you how to program this algorithm. Okay. And now it enters our trade. And it's basically going to be open until, until it either gets stopped out or it hits target profit. And we're looking for this cross, like I stated before. Right here. Okay. We got that cross established. And you can see that the trader is just running and running until either it gets stopped off 
astronaut. Let's check the journal to see if we got that note. See? And if we hit uh, pause, we can see, by order open, low ATR entry. Perfect. And if we see our trade, our balance is 2000 and our equity is $2,012. So you can see that the trade on real time for the strategy tester is, you can see both. And if it, it's hit positive or negative, it's just how it is. It's just you can't win every trade. But we can, I can go through and, t and see when our next order will enter. And you can tell that our program is working because it's not entering in multiple trades. It only enters in one position at a time until it either hits target profit or our stop loss. So it hit our stop loss. Let's see how it goes for our next couple trades. And this is basically a very simple use, guys. So once again, if you're looking for more information, guys, please check below. Check my website. Also check uh, my uh, also check my website, guys. Or hit me up on Fiverr. And if you're looking for uh, more information, guys, oh, shit. And see, we entered our other buy trade right here, guys, and we did cross over. And you can see that it entered in, and we're going to actually check the graph. So we have one losing trade, and also it entered on a low ATR, okay? So once again, guys, if you want more information, please check out uh, my website. Join my Telegram so you can get in direct contact with me. Or what you guys can do is hit me up on Fiber to see if you want to have a customized robot or hit me up on my website for a customized robot and or indicators. And I, I create those based on your trading strategy and I'll program them basically in three different levels. But we can get into those details later. But basically showing you how to program with this robot and see if it does really good or bad. And let's see. It's going to hit target profit or not. But very simple robot for you guys to use, okay? But any questions or comments, guys, go back to what I just uh, what I uh, previously stated. But please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and drop a comment if you have any questions or appreciation. And I'll see you guys on the next video.